10 things you need to know about Truist before you apply. Let's dive into it. All right, welcome back, my friends. So uh, we've been doing these top lists lately, and uh, and I like it. So we're gonna pull from literally the definitive guide to Truist, which we've had up now for a couple different years. We've talked about uh, BB&T SunTrust now, I think since 2020, 2021. This play has been going on for a long time, at least 2019 that we know of. Um, it has changed a little bit, and so I wanted to update you. So I got nine things that you can see on the screen right now. The 10th is gonna be the most important. You gotta stay tuned to the end till I give it to you. All right, first off, they, if they hard pull at all, it will be Equifax. You can lock down your Equifax and uh, a lot of the applications will still work. They have a pre-qualification online, which is right here. You can see this link. That takes you right over to the pre-qualification page and that's still up as of right now. Uh, many report that there's no hard pull at all, just a soft pull after they go through the pre-qualification page and get approved for the cards. Next, if you get pre-approved for multiple cards, you'll get approved for all those cards at the same exact limits. Now, there has been a slight little eh, maybe this changed that took place in the last, I would say 30 days, which is that what we're noticing is that people can't get all three or four cards, they can only get two, two on the personal side. So what I know for a fact is that people are still getting two cards very easily. Now, whether or not, like I said, you end up getting all four, like, do you care? Two on a personal, and then I'm gonna share something with you, some sauce on the business side in just a sec. This works the same on the business side. If you get one card on the business side, you can get, there's two cards on the, on the business side, I believe. So you can get both of them. They also offer business lines of credit, which we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, they are uh, bankruptcy friendly or BK friendly. Seen multiple accounts now with bankruptcy sevens reporting that they were able to get pre-qualified on the page and then accepted after they went ahead and accepted the offer. States that Truist is open in because you could only be in certain states. I'll tell you how to work around that in just a second. We've got Alabama, DC, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Massachusetts, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, PA. Don't know what PA is, can't remember. I've been out of the states for a while. Forgive me. Uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, VA, and West Virginia. Holy crap, I can't even recognize states now. Wow, uh, not great, not great, Jay. Cards usually show up in seven to 10 days. Let's take a small step back and cover one hole here. How do you get in if you're not in one of those states? You have to be in one of those states because when you go through the pre-qualification page, they got a drop down for what state you're in. Guess what? That's the only states that are in there. How do we get around that? Well, on the business side, we can do what's called a foreign filing. Now, what that means is that you designate or say to your state and to the IRS and to you know the government that you're gonna do business in this state. You're gonna pay to do business in that state and then you set up a, an address in that state and then that address will qualify, pre-qualify and qualify on the business side. Now that doesn't fix the personal side. There's really no fix for the personal side at all, okay? But on the business side, which again is what I think you're here for, that's how you'd get around that. And again, uh, we've gone through that in another video. One of the tricks that we talked about was getting really close to the bank within 50 miles because with banks, some banks, they care about that more. So just try and pick a populated city center area that has you know, 20, 30 banks and that way you can really make this thing worth it because some foreign filing fees like California are $800 a year. And so we gotta make it worth it. We gotta go get some serious amounts of credit lines to make that worth it, right? So anyways, that's what you would do there. Now let's take another step back and talk about really what's changed and what we've noticed is it went from you know getting all four personal cards and everyone got excited about that even we were excited about that. Once you get approved for the pre-approved for the one, you get the same limit across all four, never a hard pull. That was the original play. Then it kind of pivoted and it was like, oh, well, you're not gonna get all four, maybe you'll get three. And I heard a lot of people getting threes, then I heard twos. Now here's what's going on. Your best bet is to go into the branch. And the reason why is because the um, bank staff that work there, it's in their best interest to make sure that you get approved for as many credit products as possible. You can walk in there and come out with four credit products on just one hard pull, okay? This is recent sauce. What you're gonna get is you're gonna get a business credit card. They're gonna also offer you a business line of credit at the same time and then two personal credit cards. That's like the maximum you can walk out of there with. I've seen it happen multiple times now. You gotta ask for it, yes. Um, but it seems like the two best personal cards as well is what you'll end up with. They'll end up with the same limit. They'll approve you for one, but a lot of times you'll just end up getting two. You'll see two accounts in your login area, even though you only applied for one, I've heard of that. Or if you just ask for applying for two, they'll give you both, okay? On the business side, as soon as I start to apply for the business credit card, they will offer you usually or talk about, start to talk about the business line of credit. Get it, yes. So we can walk out of there with uh, upwards of $50,000 on the business side and then anything else that you get on the personal. So that's really what's changed with that. Uh, this is what, May, the end of May 2023. That's all the recent sauce. Let me know if you've got any extra data points in the comments below. Also, let me know your wins. If you go and pull this off and pull in, you know, 25, 50K in a new bag with Truist, let us know in the comments. Let us know your data points so we can share it with the rest of the community. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet. Right there. Okay, bye.
Semangkit